Hi, this is my uh, two thir 2013 uh, F-150 and this video is to show uh, some info about doing a relearn procedure or a training procedure to log uh, sensor ID numbers into the TPMS computer in a truck. Uh, there's two ways to put the truck, or at least the newer ones, uh, 2012 probably and newer. Uh, I don't know whether it works for uh, the 2009, 10, 11. Uh, but uh, uh, the one way to put it in to the learn mode is uh, using emergency flashers on and off and another way is to uh, turn the ignition on and off and pressing a brake pedal. Uh, there have been some questions on the forum about uh, why can't I program my sensor into the truck when you get a new sensor. Uh, it turns out that the emergency flasher method really only works for the sensors that are currently programmed into the TPMS computer memory. In other words, the four sensors on the truck, if you uh, rotate the tires uh, and need to uh, do the relearn procedure, uh, then you can use the emergency flasher technique. The In that case, uh, for instance, on my truck, the tire pressures are all four 35 PSI. Some of the, I think the heavy duty uh, option trucks have uh, 65 and 55 so if you rotate the tires and put the fronts on the rear or rear on the front uh, you can get a low tire pressure indication if you don't relearn the the uh, sensor locations well, after you put the truck into the learn mode the first sensor you trigger and log into the TPMS computer memory uh, it's logged in as the left front and the second one is the right front, third is the right rear, and the last one is the left rear. So if you uh, rotate the tires, then uh, the uh, TPMS and, and adjust the tire pressure, say from 65 down to 55, uh, the TPMS computer could think you have low pressure in that uh, tire. They think it's still on the front when it's really on the rear now or vice versa. So you could do the relearn procedure using emergency flashers uh, to put the truck into the learn mode. I'll show you uh, what I mean here. This is a sensor that's not currently logged into my truck. You can see the um, uh, 3065 FD uh, B1 is a unique ID number of this sensor. And when it's logged into the TPMS computer uh, memory, the TPMS knows which corner of the truck this is uh, currently on by the order in which you trigger the sensors during the relearn procedure. There's also a Ford uh, part number on there, 9L3T-1A180-AE, and then another one down below. Uh, and there's some other part numbers also that will work on 2009 to 2014 uh, F-150s. I think a dl 3 z is the uh, first part or some such thing like that. First part of a number for a current, more current, newer one uh, that may have a battery that might last a little bit longer. So there's some interchangeable part numbers there that uh, if you do a search on eBay, you'll come up with several different part numbers that can all work in 2009 to 14 F-150s. Let me do the uh, procedure here. I've got uh, two tools. I've um, got this little TPMS-19 um, tool, and you can also see the Ford part number on there, but the uh, uh, Motorcraft number is TPMS-19. Do a search on eBay for that, and you'll find them for about 35 or 40 bucks. It just sends out the triggering frequency, a very low frequency, 125 kilohertz signal that triggers the sensor to transmit and send its data to the TPMS computer. I've got another one here that I'll show you later uh, how it works. Uh, let me get it booting up here, turn it on, and uh, but of course it's got a screen and uh, shows some more data and uh, it actually has a receiver in it that picks up the signal once the uh, it triggers the sensor. Let me uh, show you here the emergency flasher method. I'm going to turn on the ignition without starting the truck, and then I'm going to push the uh, flashers on and off three times. You can see the lights blinking up there, on, off, on, off, and you should hear a horn this time, on, off. There's a honk of the horn, and it says, uh, let me get rid of that, yeah, it says train the left front tire. So we're going to train the left front tire, and... Um, 
and I'll show you on my left front tire with the TPMS-19 tool I'm going to put it on the uh, rubber sidewall right next to the valve stem push the button I get a little red light blinking and we can hear a honk of the horn the uh, tool triggered the sensor to send out its data and when the TPMS computer uh, received the info and logged it into memory that horn honks a confirmation that uh, you're done on the left front and it says train the right front I'm gonna try and uh, program in this uh, sensor right here push the button and I get a little red light is blinking and nothing's happening let me try it again it, uh, Red lights illuminated, and uh, not getting any uh, any action from the sensor. Let me use this uh, other tool here. Let me blip down here. Uh, diagnostics. Select the uh, pickup uh, Ford F-150, and uh, I'm going to push activate. You can see, I have the antenna close to the sensor, and I'm going to push activate. Let me get the sun out of there so we can see this and when it activates uh, it's triggered the sensor and you can see the sensor ID number that same ID number that's uh, printed on the on the uh, sensor itself zero pressure because of course it's not in a pressurized tire the temperature is uh, 96 sitting there in the sun here and um, yeah it's January in Florida not quite like up in Minnesota or Ontario and uh, battery okay that means the battery in the sensor is good and the uh, sensor transmitted on 315 megahertz to the TPMS computer but we didn't get a honk on the horn and, and it still says train the right front tire up there uh, so this emergency flasher technique only works with sensors that are already programmed in there and you heard that beep beep uh, the learn mode timed out. That's what happened there. And the same thing would have happened if we turn off the ignition and did not complete the procedure or didn't get all four sensors programmed in, we would have got a double horn honk and it would say tires not trained. I'm going to turn off the ignition and um, this time I'm going to turn the ignition on. I'm going to press the brake. I'm going to turn it off and on three times. One, off, on, off, on. I'm going to hold the brake pedal for uh, two seconds, 1,000, 2,000. I'm going to turn it off, on, off, on. This third time, we should get a honk of the horn. Here's a honk of the horn, and we're in the learn mode, similar to the other way with the emergency flashers. It says train left front tire, but this is a different learn mode. Watch now. We couldn't program this sensor before, but this time, I'm going to push the button, and honk and um, it says train right front I'm gonna go around and do the other three tires I'll go over here to the right front and a uh, little tool on the sidewall there right next to the valve stem honk that confirmed we uh, logged that right front in there here's the right rear Put tool on the rubber sidewall right next to the valve stem, and this should complete the procedure. Honk, and when we turn the ignition off, if we get a double honk, it did not work. If we turn it off and we don't, uh, and it says training complete up there, so I expect we're not going to get a honk, meaning the procedure is complete. Watch when we start the truck. This sensor is programmed in as a left front. So what do we get immediately? Low pre tire pressure and we get the uh, TPMS or low tire uh, pressure icon and um, we can clear that and drive and uh, won't have any problems. Uh, we'll just have uh, uh, the uh, icon down there displayed all the time. So bottom line there's two ways to put the truck in a learn mode uh, using the emergency flasher method seems to only work if you rotate the tires um, to uh, be able to send the new location of the, each of the currently uh, registered tire sensors to be able to 
send their new locations to the TPMS. If you get a new sensor or switch to a different set of wheels with tire sensors that aren't currently programmed into the TPMS computer, you're going to need to use that uh, ignition on off on off on off brake press and then ignition on off on off on off again until uh, you get the horn honk and uh, go into the learn mode via that method. That seems to be the only way to program new sensors or different sets of sensors that aren't currently registered with the uh, TPMS computer to be able to log them in. Hope that helps uh, some people that are trying to log new sensors into the uh, into their F-150.